Hello guys and welcome to another video. This is going to be some kind of uh, disagreement. I'm basically going to be talking about everything in this video. Everything I talk about in this video is going to be about things I am really, really annoyed about. Uh, I've been drinking, this is Saturday night, and I thought I'd make a video for you guys. Uh, there's just a lot of things recently that's been really, really bugging me in the gaming industry, so as you could say, and I thought I would share that with you guys when I'm drunk, basically. Because, you know, I like talking about these things when I'm drunk. I just think it's the perfect time to make a video. Um, so, yeah, there's this, um, all these rumours coming about with Xbox One. They've had, they've had their, you know, press conference or whatever the hell it was. And, um, you know, I'm just losing a lot of faith, in my, in my opinion. I'm losing a lot of faith in the gaming industry, as would you say. I mean, it's bad enough how they release, like, brand new games, like, they release them broken. I mean, it's, it's okay for them, isn't it, to release a bone brand new game that's broken so they can go and patch it later. That, that's perfectly acceptable, isn't it? Was it, is it hell? Is it hell? I'm just thinking, you know, I've been thinking recently that I just don't think the gaming industry really cares about us users, uh, users anymore. Uh, all they really care about is the money. They don't care if people are loyal fans, they don't care if loyal fans like the product or anything like that. They just want the money. Um, and I think it's just really, really um, disgraceful in my opinion, because without us, they wouldn't be making any bloody money. So that pisses me off. That, it really doesn't make me annoyed. It really makes me annoyed. And this new woman, uh, Xbox, the Xbox One, they've had this, new, they've had this press conference or... Com gaming conference, whatever the hell it is, I don't blame the name of it. And um, they're actually going to charge a fee for pre-owned games. A fee. That is this absolute bullshit. Absolute crap. Uh, ever since, you know, ever since games first came out, you could always buy games brand new. You could always sell them on, and you could buy them pre-owned. Obviously, people not having enough. You know, people don't have you know a lot tons of money, like me, I don't have tons of money, and um, I can't really afford to be spending like, tons of money on brand new games, without having to buy pre-owned games, and then pay an extra bloody fee, I think that is absolute bullshit, and I'm, I'm personally not having it, I am not having this at all, I am really bloody annoyed, I'm really worried about uh, the future of gaming. I'm worried about the future of gaming. I think it was bad enough how we were going to be doing everything digital download only. We're having to pay an extra fee for pre-owned games. And there's also this rumour about having to be online 24-7. I don't know if that's the case. Um, but I'm just saying, if they do have it that it's online 24-7, imagine people lose their internet connection. I always feel, when I moved house, I moved house twice, when I moved house, it was bad enough not having the internet for two or three weeks. Uh, but actually, you know, it's worse in your, if you buy a new game console and then you can't play that game console because you have to be online only. I think that is absolute crap. And I'm really bloody against it. Um, I'm <laughs> really bloody annoyed about this, to be honest. Um, so yeah, they're doing this. It's all this crap with a new Xbox. I tell you something, guys. If I was Sony, if I was Sony right this minute, I'd be doing the exact opposite. I would be doing exactly what they do with the PS3 and, you know, these modern modern day consoles. And um, just keep it the way it is. You buy a game pre owned uh, you buy a game brand new if you actually really, really want that game. Or if you like like me, if you don't have a lot of money, you wait until the game drops in price, then you buy the game for a slightly um slightly cheaper from the pre owned market. And um, yeah, I just think that's going to just like screw a lot of game shops over as well. I just don't think a lot of people um, would buy uh, games, in my opinion, if they actually stick to the way uh, the Xbox One is doing things. But I think Sony could really bloody capitalise this. I mean, the Wii U, uh, I think the Wii and Nintendo, and, and um, you know, especially, are um, loyal to their fans. They're loyal to their fans, in my opinion. I mean, I do think the Wii U is not exactly the best console. I mean, I've played the Wii, and it's a good enough console. It's good for family, good for friends, stuff like that. But I think it gets boring really, really quickly. It's not something I could spend like loads of time on, like I can do with, obviously, the PS3. Or even Xbox, if I had it. But, um, you know, I just think it's absolute bullshit. And I'm just really not happy about the next generation of consoles. Uh, if they go that way. So... If 
power is still in the Arab West and all the hate and all the, you know, all the negative things people are saying about this idea about Pokemon have to pay an extra fee for, you know, pre-owned games. I mean, it's bad enough the Xbox, you know, the Xbox, you have to bomb buy an Xbox Live account to play games online. It's bad enough having to bomb and get an online code to play games online. I mean, that's fine. I'm perfectly happy with buying a, you know, getting a code for online gaming. Um, as long as you can play single player for free, that's that's fine. I'm happy about that. But the fact that you're going to have to pay an extra fee for pre-owned games, I just think it's absolute crap, to be honest. And I think this way, um, this is the way games could become, you know, for the Xbox One, could become obsolete. Uh, basically, the way Xbox One, when they release the new Xbox, what, eight, nine years from now, whatever the hell it is, um, I'm not really sure the, the pattern that game consoles come out. But yeah, I think games could become obsolete. Because if you buy all these Xbox One games, okay, and um, you have a, like a, a code, you have to activate the code if you buy it, buy it brand, new, you have to activate this bloody code, which is absolute crap. And um, so yeah, and let's say 10, 11 years later, and the new Xbox comes out, and then they close the online servers for the Xbox One, and let's say the Xbox One breaks, and you have to get a new Xbox One. And you can't obviously create a new account or that because, well, we've closed the online servers for the Xbox One. And, um, yeah, does that mean you that game is completely useless? Does that mean you can just snap the disc right in the bucket? I don't know. I don't know what they'll do with that, whether they'll keep the online servers open for the Xbox One as well as that other Xbox that comes out after it. I have no idea, guys. I have no idea. And that is part of the reason why I think this is a stupid idea. I can tell you right this moment, I can tell you right this minute, if Sony, if PS4 has the exact same as what Xbox One has at the moment, stuff it. Goodbye to modern day gaming. I will stick to Steam. I will stick to my older game consoles that don't require online or have to pay an extra fee for pre-owned games. That is, that's how I feel, guys. That is just how I feel. And, um, yeah, that is... Basically, all I'm going to say in this little uh, rant video, and this is a bit of a rant to be honest, um, I've never actually done anything like this before, but I am really, really unhappy about the way gaming is going. Gaming, for me, has always been a huge hobby for me, ever since the Sega Mega Drive, uh, even more so when the PS1 came out, I, was, I just bloody loved that game, loved getting games for it and stuff, and I started to collect games for the PS2 and obviously PS1 and that, and you know, I'm just a big, I'm just a big gamer. I'm a super big gamer, and I'm just really, really upset about the way things are going. I think they should keep it the way it is now, and I think they're going to ruin everyone. I think they're going to ruin everyone. I think it will be time to stick to retro, or find a new body hobby. Because I am not, I am not paying extra fee for pre-owned games, and I'm definitely not going digital only. If any of that bullshit happens, I am not doing it. I'm sticking to retro. So, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this little video, guys. I have been just so bloody annoyed about this and I just thought I'd get it out in a video. I'm sweating. <laughs> sweating buckets here and I'm drunk. I don't know if I said that before, I probably did. But yeah, it's bullshit. It's absolute bullshit, guys. And, you know, I just think it's crap. So yeah, let me know your opinions in the comments below. Always happy to hear your opinions. Um, yeah, just really bloody unhappy at the moment and really bloody angry. Sony, you better do things differently or that's it. Finished. So anyway guys, thanks for watching this, and I'll catch you all later. See you guys, thanks for watching. Bloody consoles, man, what the hell. Modern day gaming. Through the bloody windy. <laughs>